Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window. Today we're going to be doing another Overwatch, and it looks like it's another one on Thrill. This is actually one of the more popular maps of the uh, newest operation. Either way, uh, Suspect is coming out over here. He's going to peek out over towards the site. He's able to tag one guy who keeps re peeking right there with that scout. He's going to push his way in. Oh, and he gets taken down. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like cheats. At least not yet. So he has 15 kills in the first half, which is pretty good. That's one kill around, so that's pretty solid. 124 damage around with a 46% headshot percentage. Really not bad stats at all. And you can see Vulture on the other team could possibly be cheating with 40 kills. Going to peek over here, and as he does, he goes down pretty instantly. I'm not really sure how well that guy could see him. Maybe the angle just favors the counter-terrorist. But, uh, well, Vulture's got 43 kills now. And the suspect's got 21, Flute's got 24. It looks like he's going to be AFK for a moment here. Terrorists are still actually winning this, even with the Vulture dropping so many kills. So this could either be a really low-level uh, game with a Smurf doing very, very well, or uh, this could be something else. Guy cheating on the other team? Let's see what the suspect's going to start doing here. Seems to have gone AFK for a moment. A couple of hops coming in. Looks like he's maintaining it pretty well. Yeah, it looks like a B-hop script. Okay, so he's going to make his way up here. He's going to try to get up behind the CTs coming down the stairs. Spots a guy, and, well, he goes down. Really, there wasn't too much shady about that. I mean, the B-hop was, that's for sure. But, uh... I didn't I kind of expected him to like aim lock onto someone or like peek something perfectly. A guy coming through here, there we go. Aimed on the guy right through the wall, takes the deagle shot, and then goes down. I mean so he probably, you know, thinks that uh he's cheating for a good reason since you know Vulture on the other team has got forty nine kills. Holding this, he's gonna try to peek out, but he's still not able to react in time to take him down. Looks like he's going to keep going this way. CTs are really bringing it back. Well, really, Vulture's bringing it back. 52 kills now. Let's see here. Suspect's going to take a couple shots at the ground. Vulture's up here, and he's able to take him down with a nice one dig. Thing is, I'm not actually 100% sold that Vulture is cheating. Still, though, with those amount of kills, he's got to be, right? Still though, we're not overwatching him, we are overwatching the suspect, and as for right now, it looks like we can report the suspect for a wall hack and for a b-hop script. He's gonna try to make his way up here, he's gonna aim on the guy through the wall, peek out, and well, Vulture's gonna take him down before he can react. Now Vulture could very well be using uh, an aimbot and, well... Probably a wall hack. He's reacting very, very quickly. I mean, you saw how fast he was able to attack the suspect there. That being said, I don't know the map well enough to know if people have an angular advantage on this map, on the angle that he was up the stairs. Suspect's going to be wrapping around here. He's in a 1v2 situation. He does have the bomb, so he could technically just plant it if he wanted to. Looks like he's going to try to make his way back over here. I think he actually noticed him through the wall there, which is why he's attacking this area in the way that he is. All right, so it looks like he says time to plant. He's going to be planting here, and uh, I guess this is the gift shop. And well, he knows one guy's coming from over here to the left. He did hear the gun. Just kind of aiming at the wall a little bit. Checking behind him. And he's going to come out on the guy, spray him down. Actually, wasn't quite able to finish him off. He could work on his recoil control just a little bit, but he's going to get shot from behind, and he's going to go down. And that means the CTs are now winning 13-12. to 12. So I'm curious if he's going to continue to turn things on to try to win this game, or if he's going to just allow the CTs to uh, pull this win. Especially because, like I said, Vulture is kind of going crazy. There we go. There's some aim lock. Alright. So yeah, he's turning everything on. He wants to try to win, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that, that was horrible. That was just horrible. Like, we could tell that it was an aim lock. It wasn't locking, though. It wasn't on target. That was 
that had to have been like the worst aimbot I've ever seen in my life. All right. So uh, minor disruption griefing. He wasn't really griefing. His teammates kept going the same way over and over again, but that's not really considered griefing. I think that he just wanted to try to take out that guy, and then once they had him down, he figured that they would start winning the rounds. He kept losing to him, though, and it looked like he was using a wall hack and a b-hop script, and then at the end, he was using aim assistance. So, uh, or at least recoil assistance, for sure, but I think that was aim assistance as well. Either way, insufficient evidence on that. Other external assistance... Uh, well, he did use the B-Hop script, so evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance. Yeah, he was able to look at people right through the walls. We could see that happening. So evident beyond reasonable doubt. And then we got aim assistance. And it wasn't until the very, very end where we got to actually see that. And it failed for him terribly. I am curious what the other guy's perspective on the other team, that vulture guy who was at like 60 kills, uh, what his crosshair looked like if he was using an aim bot, wall hack. Uh, good chance that he was probably using both, but again, it, it you know he wasn't going like full on reverse aim or spin bot, so it was hard to really tell if the other team uh, was using anything. Either way, evident beyond reasonable doubt on this guy's aim assistance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and have a great day.